Pat Damaris. I think this is for Mr. Fisher. Yes. Um, working with young people here at Middlesex Community College, I know how important education is to their success. Unfortunately, thousands of young men and women graduate from our high schools but are unable to attend or afford a college education because of their immigration status. Our state legislator has de debated this issue a number of sessions, but as of today, Massachusetts is one of the states that does not allow for in state tuition. If elected, what would you do to make this a reality for the hundreds of undocumented youth graduating from high school? I would not make it a reality. I've said before, under Fisher administration, illegal immigration is illegal. By giving illegal immigrants in-state tuition, we are rewarding bad behavior. They have broken the law. I have two employees that have green cards, and one just told me two weeks ago that uh, he passed the uh, U.S. Uh, citizenship test. He's just waiting now where to go to take his oath of office. These people have done it the right way. They stood in line, they waited the turn, they're played by the rules. People have come here illegally and broken the rules. It's a slap in their face. We don't want to reward that. Governor LePage up in Maine has just started doing what, what, what I uh, suggested all along. That's to cut off the benefits. And illegals will do what? They will self-deport, not to their home country, to the next big blue state. So now we're getting an influx. We're getting an influx of illegals from Maine. I want to do the same thing here in Massachusetts. So that influx goes from Massachusetts to New York or California. Illegal immigration is illegal. Mr. Baker. Uh, I don't support in-state tuition for um, undocumented and illegal immigrants either. And uh, my primary reason for this is when taxpayers fund public education, the reason they fund public education is because they believe there is a positive benefit to the Commonwealth associated with doing that. And the positive benefit is the ability of those folks when they graduate from college to be able to work here in Massachusetts. The fact that um, Illegal immigrants are not able to actually work upon graduation. It beats the whole point of in-state tuition in the first place, which is to give people the ability to access a higher uh, education so that they can then be, they can work here. Okay. Any rebuttal at all? Yeah, Jim. Uh, four years ago, the Boston Herald had a story that talked about how Charlie had funded organizations that supported in-state tuition for illegal immigrants and driver's licenses for illegal immigrants. So. Saying it is one thing, but backing it up with your actions. You know, people have to see that you're consistent with your words and your actions. What do they believe, your words or your actions? Mr. Baker, would you like to respond? That's not true, okay? In the aftermath of 9-11 and the tragedy that involved the death on this soil of hundreds of thousands of American citizens, the Harvard Pilgrim Foundation set up a program that made it possible for the employees of Harvard Pilgrim that they were working with community organizations to be able to apply to the foundation to offer what we call mini grants, $100 to $500, or printing, or some other small benefit to those community-based organizations. A couple of people who worked at Harvard Pilgrim were involved with some organizations that they filed an application to the foundation for, and the foundation granted those applications. That's what we started. So you need to take that up with, with the, the Boston Herald. It sounds like our COVID did not do the, the due diligence that it did to, to screen those organizations. The money went to those organizations. You done? Yeah. yeah.
park here for the debate? Sure. Nice press. <laughs> yes, CR News. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm a shoestring operation. But I'm, uh, <laughs> oh, no, I'm with CR News. Well. Okay. Um, I think we're all filled up in here. Um, there was a spot over there. Yeah, like. but obviously the cones are there. Preserved. What about that spot on the ones. end there? That would be the president's spot, so that one's always coned off. <laughs> Isn't he in Martha's Vineyard? Oh, the other president, the college, college president. college president, yeah. 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 I, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, so what do I do? Uh, that's a good question. Hang on, let me grab the I got 20 minutes, second. I'll hang. Yeah.